crafters, it's Andrea from Prairie Sky Paper Crafts here today with another how do I use it tutorial. For today, we are going to be creating this background with these. These are the new blending brushes from Stampin' Up! that are available in the January to June 2021 mini catalog, which debuts on January the 5th. Um, the colors that I'm going to be using are Balmy Blue, Bermuda Bay, and Coastal Cabana, as well as Night of Navy. The brushes lend themselves so well to creating your own colored background. You can really customize it to whatever you need. So let's get started. I've got a piece of white cardstock here. And when I do blending, I prefer to go from the lightest to the darkest. So I'm going to be going with my balmy blue first. Now to ink it up, all you need to do is basically rub it side to side. You don't need to be too terribly fussy about where exactly on your ink pad you're doing it, just to pick up some color. Now with any um, blending, you wanna start off of your paper so you don't get any harsh lines when you start. So I'm just gonna start and I'm gonna rub it in. Now for this one, um, my sample piece, I did a top to bottom um, rub with the blue but for this one, I think I'm going to do something slightly different and I'm going to do more of a ombre variegated look. So I'm just going to rub. And as you can see, the more you, you can just keep rubbing and blending and rubbing and blending and adding some more ink um, to get whatever depth of coverage you want. And obviously the more ink you add, the darker you're going to get. And if you find that it is too dark in a couple of places, all you need to do is add just a tiny little bit of water um, onto your brush because the inks are water-based. <clears throat> you can get it to look a little bit softer. And I'm just gonna do a little bit more right there. Okay, and I think I'm content right with how that looks. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna close up my balmy blue. And then I'm going to bring in the Coastal Cabana. Bermuda Bay um, is the darkest of the three colors that I'm using. So I'm gonna save that for last. Okay. Actually. Okay, I'm gonna ink that up. Just rub it on, pick up a little bit of ink, and then again, start off my paper. Oops. Nothing like your light's going off halfway through. There we go. I got some new technology for Christmas that I'm just playing with today for the first time. So I think the added lights are going to make a huge difference in being able to show you guys different things and less shadows as well, I'm hoping. Okay, just keep building up the color as much as you would like it. And these brushes are absolutely lovely to work with. The more um, you get a chance to play with them, I think the more you're gonna like them as well. They're just, it really makes it quite easy to blend color. Okay. And I'm gonna bring it down a little bit into the blue as well so we don't have any harsh lines. And I'm going to set that one off to the side and then I'm going to bring in my Bermuda Bay and then we'll get started with stamping. Um, the Dragonfly Garden stamp set that I'm using is also available in the new catalog um, and there's a coordinating punch with it as well. Oh, all right. This ink pad needs to be re-inked a little bit so I'm going to have to push a little harder to get the color that I want. Oh my goodness sure why this keeps timing off. Okay, and then just keep blending and blending and blending. I'm gonna do a little darker at the bottom. All right, I think I'm happy with how that looks close up this one and then I'm going to do some sh um, 
I don't want all of my dragonflies to be the exact same color as I go up. So I'm going to ink up the first one. And then I'm just going to repetitively stamp it without going back to my Knight of Navy ink pad. So I'm going to do one there. One there. And the last one there. I am so sorry for the tech glitches today. All right. And... You can see I've done a little bit of a oops right there. So when I go to finish the card, I'm just going to go ahead and do um, either put my tag there or do a little bit of a line of bling. Um, be sure to pop over onto my Facebook page to see the completed card when I'm finished. I hope you enjoyed this first tutorial um, with the blending brushes. It certainly won't be the last time I'm using them. I am really loving coloring with them. And I think it's going to get a lot um, more play in my craft room. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you're notified every single time a new video goes live. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. See you soon.